Right, I wanted to put together a little preset to kind of play some cool neo soul -y jazz stuff. So this is how we ended up where you heard us get to in the introduction. Now I'm thinking that I might use a Roland Jazz Chorus just because I'm going to be mostly concerned with clean air tones and I also want to use less DSP if possible. I'm going to use a dual cab and so we're going to do this and on one side we'll use 57 and on the other I think maybe a 4038 um, something like this, let's turn up some reflections a little bit more room sound than usual is what I'm thinking that I'll go for um, just to try and get a really lively kind of thing um, we'll set mids to about 5 start off with everything at 5 and there's a bright switch at the end here and I'm going to put that to maybe 5 as well So I'm liking that because I want to start off with the brightness there if we need it um, rather than getting rid of it off the bat. Now I want to chuck in a few different modulation aspects. So here I'm going to put in the dynamics flanger and so here are the settings. Uh, I put the speed at 1.3, envelope it's control select, depth 6.7, manual at 0, in phasing minus 10, recycle out, CV dynamics at 10, max delay at 83, CV track at normal, uh, envelope lag 100 milliseconds, envelope in plus 70, and CV decay times 4. For chords, I think. Got that really wonky thing going on, pretty cool. Um, I'm going to bypass that for now. Um, and then in front, I think I want to put in a couple of things. Let's put in a mono. Uh, no, we don't want that. We want filter. Filter. Uh, mono, we can go with the mutant filter, um, band pass, and this. Okay, and I might put a clon after that uh, just because that helps to sort of balance it out a little bit. But we kind of want it just as a boost. Uh, 
um, and then at the end I want a kind of slap backing delay thing um, I'm going to use the tape echo for this maybe take it down to about 110 <laughs> Take that down. I'm going to take the highs down a bit, I think. So take this down to about four, both of these. Four kilohertz. Ensuring that we won't get spiky. And I think the only other thing I want to do is add an octave pitch for some kind of cool lead tones. Dual pitch. And we can go up an octave and down an octave. And let's turn the level down on these a bit. Uh, level two. Um, we'll get. Okay, and then let's assign these to some switches, I guess, or snapshots. Uh, so, in this snapshot, I'm going to have just a flanger. And then this snapshot, I'm going to have pitch and mutant filter. No, maybe without that. And then for this, I'll have the whole shebang except for the dynamic flanger. So that's what you get then. Some really cool little funky sounds. pretty nice and then Nice. Right. Cool. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want that kind of cool Neo Soul tone dropped into the folder. I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers.